Hello, beautiful friends. Thank you for joining our fourth video in this mini series, a very mini series on this huge body of work by Rudolf Steiner, where we are just touching into, I'm just going to introduce you to the concept of Araman and Lucifer and the middle path. And we're here in the fourth video to talk about just that, the middle path, the way of Christ, right? Christ as a consciousness. And what I love Rudolf Steiner called this the Christ impulse, right? So we've talked about the Luciferian impulse, the Araman impulse. Now we have the Christ impulse. And that's where, that's where the masses, you know, that are awakening. We were looking around and trying to find our, our balance, our equilibrium in this life. And that is what Rudolf Steiner was calling the Christ impulse. What is essential that I, I want to inspire you before we talk about these three ways for um, transcendence and, and finding the middle path. The, such an important teaching of Rudolf Steiner, Rudolf Steiner was like freedom is the answer. Your freedom, your understanding that you are free right now. You are free. This was such an essential component in understanding like you have free will, you have choice, and you have the choice to recognize the freedoms that you that you have and to exercise them. And we are in a time right now when I feel into my guidance, they're just like, you have, there's so much freedom. There's, you are free. You are free. I hear this very, very loudly from my guidance. And I, I feel it's important to, to insert this as a reminder and to feel very connected and empowered in your freedom. It's a pretty essential step. Um, I don't see how any of this is actually accomplished without that understanding. The Christ impulse is what will help humanity establish this equilibrium. So it's a big focus on raising children, growing our own food, coming back to what is real in this life. What is, and when I say real, I mean like a mother's duty to educate children on what matters in life. And it's not, the materialism that we are taught in the in with Araman, and it's not the fantasy that Lucifer presents to us with all the the spellbinding beauty and all of that. It's the middle ground. It's you know, it's sitting around the dining room table and being with your family and looking at everyone with compassion and grace and love. It's being fully present in this journey. It's being fully willing to be in our bodies. It's knowing our limitations. It's knowing our strengths. It's knowing what, what our gifts are and what our gifts are not. And being willing to be in community with one another. I want to talk about transcendence and some really powerful ways that we can find this middle path. The first being the willingness to ask. In other words, a prayer, okay? I remember when I started to reconcile this word prayer because for myself, I was raised and um, had to go to church every Sunday, whether I liked it or not. And I was a really stubborn little kid. And I remember the congregation like bowing their heads in prayer and I was holding my nose up like I am not being told what to do. And I'm not bowing, you know, like I was super like firm about that. And I knew that I wasn't going to be forced into prayer. And in my 20s, when I started to actually soften to this idea of saying a prayer and asking for help and the ways that my life started to be flooded with support, I was shocked, actually. I was like, oh, uh, wow, this word prayer really needs, you know, we really need to get over this, this, you know, the, all the, the sort of the darkness that I felt in that word. I found it really beautiful in my research to find that Rudolf Steiner said the Lord's Prayer every day at three o'clock. That was part of 
his life. That was, you know, that was part of his practice of transcendence and of walking this middle way. And I know for myself, when I have been in a really strong prayer practice, and for a while, we're going to have future videos on that, but it had to do with my, with my water. Every time I would fill up my water, I would pray and be grateful for this water that I was drinking and, and, you know, pray over my water and, and, ask. The second way we can really embrace transcendence is to be informed and discerning. Now, this is something I want to be really, really clear about this, that there are seasons in our life for transcendence. And then there are seasons in our life, like motherhood, where you're, you're, mastering something. You're being very present with something. And I have to say, in my experience, this doesn't come from Rudolf Steiner's teachings, which is very much what this series has been very focused on. This is just my own lived experience of being a woman in 2021 with children on a very um, uh, tenacious spiritual path, okay? In my experience, integration is important and acting and allowing the embodiment to unfold. So when I say be informed of current times, um, I know that I have a lot of mothers watching this and I need you to look within yourself and really answer the question, is this a season of my life where I'm gonna take in information about current events or am I going to take in the information that my children and my family are presenting to me? This is um, something that I believe is very, very important. Now, if you are not raising children and you are, or you, you are past that phase, right? You were once in the throes of you know, when you've got little ones before they're like f five, six, seven years old, it is, it's a different kind of level of presence and physicality that goes into day to day life. And I, I really think that being informed of our current reality within the field that is applicable to your path. So for example, my husband very focused on food sovereignty for this for this area for this entire for this county and for this region okay and he is working with a non and is is heading a nonprofit right now that is focused right now on food security because that's just where we are right now right but in the years to come the vision is food sovereignty so he needs to be informed within that industry of food and within that uh, consciousness of biodynamic farming and zero waste and his current events are, are within that mission, okay? So, and within, um, within that mission is like uh, looking at how communities are being affected by um, programs that are being, you know, rolled out from, from the government because it affects a lot of people who are coming to his nonprofit for food. The third piece I wanna talk about is courage and wisdom and love. Kinda of like a really nice trinity of all three. I think we need all of those things right now and we need to be looking at ourselves and asking how can I be more courageous? To be human right now is it takes courage to be on to be walking towards your highest potential takes courage to stand up for what you, for your freedom takes courage at this time so i'm asking there is a call for courage there is a call for deep listening to the to the wisdom of your body and to the wisdom of this planet there is a deep calling to drop the judgment and see other human beings truly in a sense of of just love. I love you. I love you. I love you. And um, that those three things, so the prayer, 
being informed with an intention behind that information and what you're going to do with that information. And then, you know, this trinity of courage, wisdom, and love, you know, kind of just like being at the forefront of what we're doing. I mean, there's so much, there's so much more that I can talk about. It's just that today those felt like those, that felt like the message that felt like the message today. So, um, as always, we'll continue these conversations and thanks for being a part of this little, like four part thing. Um, and, and what, what it means to come to that middle path. We're dealing with two incredibly powerful evils. It's, amazing. It's fantastical. And we're, we are coming to that middle path. We're doing it. Okay. You got to believe that you got to believe like be a believer with me that we are doing it. Okay. It doesn't happen overnight, but we're doing it. We're taking the steps. We're going through the insane initiations that life is throwing at us to quick to as quickly as possible, get us into this middle way in this place of love and this place of, of balance. I feel so passionately about this right now. Thank you for watching. I've got resources for you in the description. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. May your life be blessed with the miracles only you could be so brilliant to command.